Today, we'll travel back in time to embark on a historical excursion and meet the formidable warriors of old, whose steadfast bravery and battle prowess have left a lasting impression that has been recorded throughout time. Number 10 in this list are the Azanda warriors. Nestled in the rich tapestry of Central Africa, the Azanda people crafted a legacy of martial prowess and cultural significance that deserves our attention and admiration. In the vast landscapes of the African continent, where the Azanda warriors emerged as guardians of their people and masters of the art of war. The Azanda, hailing from regions such as present-day South Sudan and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, were known for their distinctive social organization and military traditions. At the core of Azanda society were their warriors, individuals who embodied strength, courage, and a deep connection to their cultural heritage. Armed with spears, shields, and other traditional weaponry, the Azanda warriors were not only skilled in the physical aspects of combat but were also deeply attuned to the spiritual dimensions of warfare. In Azanda culture, oracles played a crucial role in decision-making, including matters related to war. The warriors sought guidance from these spiritual leaders, believing that the success of their military endeavors was intertwined with the mystical forces that governed their world. This fusion of the physical and metaphysical underscored the Azanda warriors' unique approach to conflict. Their martial prowess extended beyond the battlefield. The Azanda were known for their exceptional skills in hunting, an activity that not only sustained their communities but also honed the warriors' agility, endurance, and marksmanship. The symbiotic relationship between the warrior and the natural world reinforced the Azanda's connection to the land they defended. As we reflect on the Azanda warriors, it is crucial to acknowledge that their legacy goes beyond the realm of war. Their intricate social structures, rich oral traditions, and artistic expressions have contributed significantly to the cultural mosaic of Central Africa. In conclusion, let us pay tribute to the Azanda warriors, a people whose valor and unique blend of martial and spiritual traditions have left an indelible mark on the history of Africa. The Azanda remind us that the warrior's path is not just about physical prowess but also about a profound connection to culture, spirituality, and the lands they call home. Number 9 in this list are knights, the illustrious era of feudal Europe, where the clinking of armor and the thundering hooves of mighty warhorses heralded the arrival of the iconic and revered figures of the time, the knights. These extraordinary warriors, clad in full-body armor and mounted on powerful steeds, were not just the protectors of kings but the epitome of chivalry and martial prowess. Imagine the resplendent sight of a knight in full regalia, astride a majestic warhorse, a formidable force that struck fear into the hearts of adversaries. The knight, the richest and most trained warrior of feudal Europe, was more than a soldier, they were a symbol of honor, virtue, and the embodiment of chivalrous ideals. Clad in meticulously crafted armor, knights were among the toughest soldiers in history to bring down in battle. Their armor, a testament to the craftsmanship of the time, not only provided unparalleled protection but also elevated the knight's presence on the battlefield. A mounted knight, wielding a lance or a sword, became an indomitable force, swift, powerful, and virtually impervious. What set the knight apart from other warriors of their time was not just their martial skill but their commitment to a code of conduct known as chivalry. Derived from the old French term chevalier, meaning knight, Chivalry embodied a set of moral and social virtues that defined the knight as not just a warrior, but a gentleman. The knight was expected to be not only skilled in combat but also courteous, honorable, and compassionate. Unlike other formidable warriors throughout history, such as the Spartans, knights were not just tanks on the battlefield. They were, in essence, the perfect amalgamation of a warrior and a gentleman. The boys of the day aspired to become knights, and as a result, these warriors trained almost their entire lives to embody the virtues of chivalry. In conclusion, let us pay homage to the knights, 
a breed of warriors who not only dominated the battlefield but also set a standard of moral conduct that continues to resonate through the ages. The knight, with their shining armor and unwavering commitment to chivalrous ideals, stands as a symbol of valor, virtue, and the perfect fusion of martial skill and nobility. Number 8 in this list are Rajput warriors a noble warrior class that stood as the guardians of northern India for centuries. Much like the samurai of Japan and the knights of Europe, the Rajputs were epitome of honor, courage, and martial prowess. Emerging around the 6th century, the Rajputs swiftly rose to prominence, establishing numerous principalities across the northwestern regions of the Indian subcontinent. Their unwavering commitment to protecting their land and people became legendary, and their chivalrous code of conduct was reminiscent of the noble warriors in other parts of the world. These warriors, much like the Shaolin monks of China, were not just skilled in traditional warfare, but also extensively trained in martial arts. Their arsenal included an impressive array of weapons, each reflecting the artistry and precision of their craftsmanship. The Khanda, a formidable long sword, was the Rajput's primary weapon, showcasing their proficiency in close combat. After the 16th century, the Talwar, a curved sword, became another essential part of their arsenal. In addition to these weapons, the Rajputs employed unique and distinctive tools of war. The Chakram, a deadly flying disc, demonstrated their mastery of ranged combat. The Kadar Dagger, with its iconic H-shaped handle, was a symbol of their close-quarters combat skills. Furthermore, the era, a form of whip sword, added a touch of versatility to their weaponry. The Rajputs' commitment to their cause was unparalleled. They were known for their refusal to surrender, often fighting to the last man on the battlefield. Their spirit and tenacity were a testament to their deep sense of honor and duty, making them the stalwart defenders of their kingdoms. As time marched on, the Rajputs faced the challenges of invasions, including those by the Mughals, yet they stood firm in their resolve. Even during the British colonial era in the 1800s, the Rajputs continued to embody the principles of courage and resistance. In conclusion, the legacy of the Rajputs were the embodiment of honor, courage, and martial excellence. Their legacy, spanning from ancient times to the colonial era, is a testament to their enduring spirit, is a tale of valor, honor, and indomitable spirit. Their martial prowess, combined with a deep sense of duty, has left an indelible mark on the history of India, and their story continues to inspire generations to come. Number 7 in this list is the Byzantine military, a force that evolved from the remnants of ancient Rome, became a symbol of tenacity against external threats. From the menacing borders of the Sassanid Persians to the sweeping tide of Arab expansion, Byzantium stood firm. The clash of swords and the thundering hooves of cataphracts reverberated through the ages, marking the empire as a formidable power. The Byzantine warrior horseman weaponry was equally impressive. A contus, a long thrusting spear, served as their primary weapon, capable of delivering a devastating charge against both infantry and cavalry. Additionally, they wielded a mace or a sword for close-quarters combat, ensuring their adaptability on the ever-changing tides of the battlefield. The Varangian Guard, composed of Scandinavian and later Anglo-Saxon warriors, served as an elite unit in the Byzantine army. Their loyalty to the emperor and their prowess in battle made them a formidable force. They played a crucial role in various military. The innovation of Greek fire, a mysterious and devastating incendiary weapon, set Byzantine warriors apart. Armed with a combination of traditional and ingenious tactics, they defended their territories against invaders with unwavering determination. Now, envision the Fourth Crusade in 1204, a tragic chapter where Western forces, initially bound for the Holy Land, turned their might against Constantinople itself. The city, deemed impregnable, fell victim to the flames of war, leaving scars that marred the Byzantine legacy. 
As the empire weathered internal strife and external pressures, the resilience of Byzantine warfare persisted. The fall of Constantinople in 1453 to the Ottoman Turks marked the end of an era, yet the echoes of Byzantine military strategy, art of war, and adaptability resonated far beyond the city's walls. Number six in this list are Scythians, warriors from windswept steppes of Eurasia, a realm where the elements dictated survival and strength, the Scythians emerged as a people of unparalleled prowess. Often regarded as the predecessors to the formidable Huns, the Scythians transcended the label of mere nomads, standing as the epitome of unmatched horsemanship, archery, and battlefield acumen. Their indelible mark on the pages of history would be written in the vast expanse they roamed, covering modern-day Ukraine, Russia, and parts of Asia. Mounted on swift steeds, the Scythians perfected the art of the bow, transforming warfare into a mesmerizing symphony of arrows unleashed with deadly precision. Their military strategy, echoed later by the Huns, relied on the agility and swiftness of archers on horseback. This tactic, a marriage of mobility and marksmanship, became instrumental in their triumphs across the steppes. Yet, the Scythians were not merely defined by their military prowess, they were also known for their ruthlessness in battle. Beyond conventional warfare, they engaged in grisly practices, such as scalping their opponents and, shockingly, consuming their blood. This ferocious reputation added a layer of intimidation to their already formidable presence on the battlefield, making them a force to be reckoned with. Picture a society where the Scythians, in addition to being consummate archers, displayed mastery with a variety of weapons. From spears to battle axes and daggers, their skill set reflected a versatility that made them formidable opponents in close combat. This nomadic culture, characterized by its military might, ruled over a substantial empire that spanned centuries, from the 8th century BC to the 3rd century BC. However, like the ebb and flow of the steppes winds, the Scythians faced challenges that tested their dominance. Pressures came from various quarters, the Greeks, Huns, and other nomadic groups from the vast steppes of Asia. Despite their unmatched abilities, the Scythian Empire gradually succumbed to the tides of history, yielding its dominance to the ever-changing landscape of Eurasia. As the winds of time swept across the steppes, the Scythians left behind a legacy of unparalleled horsemanship and battlefield prowess, forever etched in the collective memory of those who followed. On number five are Theban warriors, often overlooked chapter of ancient Greek history, the Thebans. Nestled in the heart of Greece, Thebes emerged as a formidable rival to Athens and other city-states, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of military history. At the forefront of their military prowess stood an exceptional force, the Sacred Band of Thebes, an all-gay cohort of 150 devoted male couples, whose passion and skill on the battlefield would become the stuff of legends. In the tumultuous landscape of ancient Greece, Thebes rose to prominence, challenging the supremacy of other city-states. Their army, bolstered by the formidable sacred band, became a force to be reckoned with. Imagine, if you will, a group of 150 male couples, bound not only by the bonds of love but also by a shared commitment to excellence in warfare. This unique military unit, composed of the best fighters in the world, stood as a testament to the Theban dedication to strength, unity, and passion. In the crucible of battle, the sacred band of Thebes demonstrated extraordinary valor. Their reputation for standing their ground against the mighty Spartans, and at times even prevailing over them, attested to their exceptional skill and unwavering determination. These 150 gay couples formed the elite of the Theban army, recognized not only for their prowess in combat but also for the deep bonds that fueled their collective strength. Yet, the grandeur of Theban military history was not without its challenges. While the sacred band shone brightly on the battlefield, the broader Theban army often faced defeat at the hands of stronger Greek city-states. The ebb and flow of power in ancient Greece marked the rise and fall of Theban dominance. 
The Thebans, from the 6th century BC to 335 BC, carved a unique place in history until their ultimate defeat by the forces of other Greek city-states and, eventually, the Greek Empire. Though they may not have achieved enduring dominance, the legacy of Thebes endures in the tales of the sacred band and their remarkable feats of courage. In conclusion, let us remember the Thebans, a city-state whose military prowess, embodied by the sacred band, challenged the status quo of ancient Greece. The devotion and passion of these 150 gay couples on the battlefield reflect not only the unique history of Thebes but also the broader tapestry of human courage and resilience. Number 4 are Vikings warriors when the very mention of their name struck fear into the hearts of those who heard it. These seafaring warriors, the terror of Europe, stand as one of the most formidable and feared groups in the ancient world. However, in the duality of their existence, the Vikings were not merely marauders, they were also skilled traders, bringing prosperity to the lands they touched. In vision, if you will, the Vikings, big, mean, and relentless in their pursuit of conquest. With axes, swords, and spears that suited their formidable stature, they embarked on raids and pillaging that would leave a lasting mark on European history. In battle, their ferocity was unmatched, and their weapons became instruments of terror as they conquered cities and struck fear into the hearts of those who dared oppose them. Yet, the essence of Viking culture extended beyond the battlefield. Their religion, steeped in a belief system centered around war, held that those who died in battle would be granted a place in the afterlife, a never-ending battle, where the bravest warriors would fight for eternity. This warrior ethos permeated every aspect of Viking life, shaping them into the most feared warriors of the ancient world. However, in the spirit of balance, it is crucial to acknowledge the Vikings' multifaceted nature. While they were indeed ruthless in their raids, the Vikings were also exceptionally skilled traders. Their seafaring prowess facilitated the establishment of trade routes that brought prosperity and cultural exchange to the regions they encountered. The Vikings were not only destroyers, they were builders of connections, both through commerce and the exchange of ideas. In the tapestry of history, the Vikings emerge as complex figures, warriors and traders, raiders and builders. Their impact on Europe was profound, leaving a legacy that encompasses both the terror they instilled and the prosperity they facilitated. In conclusion, let us appreciate the Vikings for the multifaceted warriors and traders they were. Their ferocity in battle and prowess in commerce have left an indelible mark on the history of Europe. The Vikings, with their axes in hand and sails unfurled, were not only the terror of the ancient world but also the architects of trade and cultural exchange. Number three in this list are Scottish Highlanders, warriors from rugged and untamed landscapes of the Scottish Highlands, where a proud and resilient people, the Scottish Highlanders, forged a legacy that resonates through the corridors of history. These fierce warriors, dwelling in the highlands of Scotland, were not merely a group of people, they were the embodiment of valor, known for their indomitable spirit and mastery of the art of war. Imagine the mist-covered hills, the haunting sound of bagpipes echoing through the glens, and a people whose tenacity in battle rivaled the legendary Vikings and other warrior societies of northern Europe. The Scottish Highlanders were not to be trifled with, their fighting style a testament to their prowess on the battlefield. At the heart of their martial tradition was the iconic longsword, a weapon that became an extension of the Highlanders' very being. Much like the Vikings, they embraced a fighting style that exuded strength, cunning, and a relentless pursuit of victory. The Highlanders were not confined to a single weapon, their skill set extended to the effective use of the axe, the war hammer, and the dagger. Each weapon, a testament to their adaptability and mastery in the art of war. In the annals of Scottish history, one name stands tall, an epitome of Highland valor, William Wallace. Revered for his legendary stand at the Battle of Stirling Bridge, Wallace became a symbol of resistance and inspiration for generations to come. 
His unwavering commitment to the cause of Scottish independence against the English forces has left an indelible mark, and to this day, his legacy resonates with those fighting for freedom and autonomy. The echoes of Stirling Bridge reverberate not only in Scottish hearts but in the hearts of all who admire the unyielding spirit of those who fight against tyranny. The Scottish Highlanders, like their Viking counterparts, were not just warriors, they were guardians of a way of life, defenders of their people, and champions of liberty. In conclusion, let us pay tribute to the Scottish Highlanders, whose legacy of courage and martial prowess has endured through the ages. May their spirit inspire all those who find themselves in the struggle for independence and freedom. The Scottish Highlands may be distant in geography, but their indomitable spirit is close to our hearts. Number two in this list are Huns. Asia's fiercest horse-riding warriors. These nomadic warriors, hailing from the expansive grasslands of Eurasia, carved a path of conquest and left an indelible mark on the ancient world. Join me as we explore the legacy of the Huns and their formidable warriors. Asia's fiercest horse-riding warriors were the Huns. All across Asia and the Roman Empire, they were dreaded. Attila, their legendary leader, is the reason they are most famous. Their proficiency with their unique eunuch bow was unparalleled for nearly a millennium. Their fierceness played a part in the Roman Empire's downfall. They were also fairly effective with a combination of swords and axes, but their greatest weapon was a proficient archer who rode a horse. Their empire extended from China to some regions of Europe. At the core of Hun's military prowess was their cavalry, a highly mobile and devastatingly effective force that could traverse great distances with unparalleled speed. Mounted archers, armed with powerful composite bows, could unleash a barrage of arrows while maintaining swift and agile maneuvers on horseback. The Huns' ability to strike quickly and retreat before a counterattack was a tactic that confounded their adversaries. The Huns were not bound by the rigid structures of settled societies. Their nomadic lifestyle fostered a culture of adaptability, resourcefulness, and resilience. The warriors were skilled in hit-and-run tactics, avoiding prolonged engagements and capitalizing on their mobility. This unorthodox approach to warfare set the Huns apart and made them a formidable and unpredictable force. While the Huns are often remembered for their military conquests, it's essential to recognize the complexity of their legacy. The Huns were not only warriors but also facilitators of cultural exchanges along the Silk Road. As they traversed vast territories, they connected different civilizations, contributing to the exchange of ideas, technologies, and goods. In conclusion, let us acknowledge the Huns, a people whose nomadic warriors reshaped the course of history. The Huns were not just conquerors, they were architects of change, bridging cultures and leaving an indelible mark on the ancient world. As we reflect on their legacy, let us appreciate the Huns for their military prowess, adaptability, and the dynamic impact they had on the societies they encountered. Number one are Spartans of ancient Greece, where a culture of unparalleled martial prowess flourished renowned for their unwavering commitment to war and the relentless training of their warriors, the Spartans stand as a testament to the epitome of military discipline and courage. In the heart of Spartan society, the ethos was clear, come back with the shield or on top of it. This saying encapsulates the essence of Spartan culture, a culture centered around victory, where defeat was not an option. The Spartans were not just soldiers, they were a way of life, a society dedicated to the art of war and the pursuit of excellence in combat. From a young age, Spartan boys underwent rigorous training, honing their physical and mental faculties to become some of the toughest soldiers the world had ever seen. The Agoge, the Spartan education system, was designed to create warriors capable of facing any adversity on the battlefield. At the core of Spartan military tactics was the mastery of the shield and spear combination. The Spartans were innovators in the art of war, developing a phalanx formation that became the envy of other ancient armies. 
The shield, known as the hoplon, was not just a defensive tool but a symbol of Spartan identity. The warriors were taught to use it with exceptional skill, creating an impregnable wall that struck fear into the hearts of their enemies. The spear, or dory, was the primary offensive weapon. The Spartans were masters of the thrust and disciplined coordination, turning the battlefield into a symphony of lethal precision. This deadly combination of shield and spear would later be emulated by many other armies throughout history, a testament to the enduring legacy of Spartan military tactics. While Spartan military prowess is celebrated, it is the Battle of Thermopylae that etched their name into the annals of history. Facing overwhelming odds against the Persian forces, a small band of Spartans, led by King Leonidas, stood their ground in a heroic last stand. Their bravery and sacrifice at Thermopylae became a symbol of resistance against tyranny, inspiring countless generations to come. In conclusion, let us salute the Spartans, a society whose commitment to war and mastery of military tactics have left an indelible mark on the pages of history. Their legacy lives on not only in the records of ancient battles but in the military strategies and discipline adopted by generations of warriors. The shield and spear of the Spartans were not just weapons, they were symbols of a culture that embraced the ideals of courage, discipline, and indomitable spirit. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications, and feel free to share it with others. Your support means a lot.